then we will proceed. You will imbibe of our most sacred liquid, and though your portion will be small, your share shall be very large. In this liquid is found the great and multisyllabic chemical, the very lifeblood of our order. You will see what cannot be seen, know what should not be known. When your eyes have truly been stripped of their earthly blindness, when the clouds obscure your perception part like the waters of the sea of reeds to Moses' staff, then and only then are you ready to accept the ancient and sacred truth we will give unto you. And then and only then will we be ready to confer upon you our first and greatest tome, the book of our wisdom, whose name I shall speak only at the time upon which it is given unto you. Bless the drinking and the swallowing. Bless the coating of the coating of the throne. Bless the soothing of the lungs. Bless the brother who drinks. May the thirst of his soul be quenched. May his eyes be opened. And may his new sight cleanse the world. What's happening to me? Fear not what you feel. Coming to wisdom is a painful, sometimes wretched path. But you will not fear it. You will be most wise, and your brothers will join you on your journey. You will see many options. The unfamiliar, the similar, and the dissimilar. But you shall not avert your gaze, or surely you will die. You will not waver in posture or position. You will not pause. You will not question. You will not speak but to repeat these sacred incantations. Or surely you will die. Yea, I open thy to the closet and found thy linens to be there. So I have come to thy closet, O Lord, and found my linens to be wrinkled and unfit. In my faith I knowest thou wouldst provide for my needs. Though I have come
come to thy closet, O Lord, and found my unfittest rank list to be thy linen in my faith, I know that I wouldest providest for my needs. Yea, in the desert I could not go on, but thou providest the fuel for the great dynamo of my combustion. Thou givest fuel unto us, O Lord, and knowest we with certain hearts and clear heads that it is not ironing, nor steaming, nor pressing, nor dry cleaning. It is the gas of the great motor of your world. Thou that the fuel you gave us, O Lord, unto the world, that it is not with steaming, nor with pressing, nor with ironing, nor with dry cleaning, that thou art the great gas motor of the world. Yea, I have found my clothing wrinkled and unfit to wear. My tent in the desert is beaten by a wind, and its folds become creases. The robes of my daughters are bedeviled with lines. The shirt of my father has languished untended. But, but for all that, O oh Lord, thou hast provided for us, for when our clothing is wrinkled, when our tent is battered, when our daughters are naked, when our fathers cry out, thou hast given unto us the board whereupon we may press our clothing, steam our tents, and iron the shirts of our fathers. And for all that, O oh Lord, Thou hast provided for our battered daughters wrinkled tents, our iron daughters, that iron daughters battered, and our wrinkled fathers, the ironing boards pressed up again, and, and our pressed wrinkled shirts for our fathers. You have spoken with feeling and conviction. You have overcome your fears and misgivings. For this, we give our thanks. Milo P. Crawdad, you will become one of us. You will follow us into the great and unspeakable darkness, and we shall lead the whole of the world back out into the light. It is a sacred duty, conceived in times of trouble and of evil, and carried on in these more modern times of still equal world. We are the fraternal order for the distinguishing of objects not like the other. Nec ferros non petros, neither gas nor iron. To us you have pledged yourself. To you we give this book, Liber De Similis Objectus, the book of dissimilar objects. Guard it well, for now it is yours as you are ours. Welcome, brother. It is customary that our noble initiate, as a neophyte, offer his newly beginning disabilities to his brothers in need by ironing their robes. And no astonishment that if ever a brother makes a request of another brother, be it to iron his shirt or to fill his tank, it is the utmost responsibility of the other brother to comply, as our order will comply. Quick and easy. Ironing, 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 ironing. The year of your life, just ironing, ironing, iron, ironing. The drudgery of ironing, ironing. The drudgery of ironing, ironing, ironing. The drudgery of ironing. Iron is so quick and easy. Ironing, ironing. And now to National Anthem. I would like to introduce you gentlemen to an individual. An individual who threatens the very fabric of the foundation of the core that which uh, our great brothers a long time ago did uh, 
in the time that they were referring to. This man is the archetypal enemy. This is the man who knows the difference. What? If he knows the difference? Hell, hell I, I know that they are, not the, are not the same, even if I can't tell the difference. Not too hard for you. Left come over. Yes. Gas. It just ain't ironing. I'm going to stay right here for the time being. Knowing the difference. Hell, I know they're not the same, even if I can't tell the difference.
That's a damn good shoe of coffee. Oh shit, my coffee's untied. Oh shit, my coffee's oh, untied. Shit. My coffee's untied. Oh shit, my coffee's untied. Oh shit, my coffee. 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 Televised. I smell your fear, I can taste your sweat Of the swiftest order archetype you ever met I can disguise myself as a family pet I'm the cosmic archetype they call Baphomet Whoa. Whoa. Ain't no hot medicine, ain't no hot chemical game Cause everything in the universe is the On your TV, yeah. telling you to murder your family. I could be a dark man in the corner of the room, tricking diabetes and plotting your doom. Like a tomato on a broomstick, coming at your bed with hooves and tits and a big goat head. A medic kid ain't no alchemical Sync Protron, everything comes together and we'll all be gone. One and all is the master plan. Began in the garden with the fall of man. The unifying principle of man and lord of the gas and the pump and the ironing board. <laughs>